Hey gang, Izzy Noodles here and I am bringing you the final part of Crystal Skulls 2. It's going to be a short one because I wanted to make it all about the boss. So here we are, straight ahead is the gate that leads to the boss. And we got the key off that last, last tribesman that we killed. So here we go. Straight on down the slope. So the moment we step off of this tile, he will spawn straight across the way on the opposite side and he will immediately start shooting. So in here, in this area, it's all about, you know, pressing the buttons and all the things we need to interact with. So uh, there will be no physical shooting of the boss. But the first thing we want to do is jump over to the other side over there. So I'm going to do my best to just gun it over and I mentioned last time I'm going to try not to take damage just so I can prove that it is possible not to take damage. So wish me luck, here I go. <laughs> so already he's shooting. <laughs> so jump to this tile and you see the lever there, hop up to here and then jump to the left and we are safe here he cannot see us so he cannot shoot so now I am in this safe position I'm gonna save there will be a lot of saving if I want to not get hit that is okay so now I'm gonna run and jump and flip over the lever and I'm going to purposely overshoot that so that he can be shooting far off while I'm running to the lever. So as soon as you land, you want to listen for when he starts shooting. There we go. Very quiet. But then immediately jump forward. Cool. Whoa, I did not mean to step forward. So, I'm going to save, will be much saving, I mentioned that because I don't want to, well jumping when you're in a hurry is not good anyway. So that lever raised that cage right in the centre there, so we want to hop to there, the same way we got here. Okay, trying to figure out where not sure whether to do a half tile. So yes, yeah, sometimes she does miss that, which is a pain in the bum. Oh, there we go. So it can be trial and error when you're under pressure. Wow, not too certain how that completely missed. So anyway, from here, we want to use the monkey bars, so you can use that uh, bit sticking out of the ground to climb onto the cage. It's pretty easy to get up there. So I just do this, listen, and then climb straight on up and jump up again straight away. What? He's not supposed to be able to get you on the monkey bars. Not going well. <laughs> Don't want to keep having to reload just because he's hit me. But it is possible, I assure you. So just don't wait for him to shoot, just climb I suppose. Okay, that's more successful. So, like I said, he cannot get you on the monkey bars, he just does not shoot, which is fantastic. So just follow the monkey bars around. You see the opening in the wall where it's leading us to? So we're also safe in there. Beautiful. 
beans of cool. Okay, so from here, we just take a few steps forward. Uh, you just see right at the end, below down near the lava, you can stand on there. So we actually want to hop down to there, use the poles and swing across. Wrong button again. So you need to be close to the wall, otherwise she's not lined prop- Look, oh my goodness, my words. You want to be close to the wall, otherwise she is not lined up properly to jump to the poles. So you want to do this in one swift movement, don't wait for him to shoot. Just go. Oh my goodness, I messed up. So my mistake there was that you just need to do a regular standing jump after turning around. <laughs> so oh, all the way to the wall, hop back, oh, well it missed me so that's absolutely fine. So turn and standard running jump. Awesome. So I'm surprised I didn't get nicked just there but it is possible to do all of this and also the moment you land on this bit you are safe. You want to just pull this. And you can't see what that did because I'm standing in a different position to usual. It raised that cage out of the lava. Now we want to climb back up to the top. So it can sometimes be tedious to <laughs> grab this. I mess up quite a lot while grabbing this. So climb up, hide behind the cage, and this can take a few attempts. You want to try and be as swift as possible, so there won't be as much saving here, just because, and I'm going to possibly try my best to talk while I'm concentrating. So as you see the tiles, you want to run but slink around, you want to go onto this first tile in front then around to the one where Lara's head is, next to the cage. And then the next one, and then forward that way. And you see there's kind of a, a diagonal line. It's not a square block, this platform that we're on. So at the diagonal, you want to press the roll button so she rolls before the edge and lands on the cage below, facing the opposite direction. So it's not going to be easy, it takes a few attempts. So it's slinking around like so, roll before the edge, if you roll too soon you can roll off, I've messed up, well I didn't die but I got hit. Come forward and then jump. Wait, go, press the button, wait, go and sidestep, he got me. So slinking around, try not to roll too late, try and take a step forward and jump and wait, go, button, don't know how that didn't hit me, split. Turn around and this is raised, jump to this and straight across, grab in the air, button. So that last bit is pretty easy as long as you get that first button. Bet the music is really quiet now. Awesome! So it's just that last stretch stretch that's a bit tedious not getting hit as long as you've got enough health you can get hit but it's a challenge so firstly i'm just gonna sort of go back and get a med pack that's right there that you just can't get while he's shooting at you 
So you just walk up to the edge and do a standing jump. Here we go. And to get back up to here, you need to do a running jump. And then run back to this one. And then from here, you see it just a crack in the ledge above Lara's head. Run to that. And you can shimmy faster, which I completely forgot is a thing. So just hold the sprint button. Okay, so there is a large med pack. And just here, there was a trapdoor. Let me just line myself up. So the easiest way to line yourself up for things is to stumble off the slope and just grab this. So this trapdoor where I've just jumped through would have been closed. So I'm not too certain why you need to pick up this guardian's globe right here and place it in this receptacle here in order to leave. It seems like it should be a fail safe to not sort of bypass the boss. But yeah, have to get that trap door open. <laughs> so I just don't understand. But anyway, wrong button yet again. So we're not out of the woods yet. Come on through and you'll get a load of crazy rumbling. I can't remember if there's a guy, but the ceiling starts falling in. No, not a guy here, just traps. Oh, so you can pull this block. This bit is very disorientating. It's so confusing. So you want to just jump up to here so you can then jump up again. I'm going to equip my shotgun because there definitely is a guy up here. Whoop. Oh, and mine the ceiling, by the way. So stick to this side just here. Oh, that ceiling already fell. Anyway, crawl through here. You only need to take like one crawl step forward. This bit can be annoying, but there is a very good pattern to it. Wrong button again. Saving. So firstly, you want to run forward to the safe gap and then jump over that first blade and then just gun it straight through. Do not jump again. So you can do it easily in one movement. It can take practice to do it. So let's go. Oh, I hit the wall. Okay, wait for the block. Soup duper. That. Eat my shotgun. Um, there is a native that comes around the corner at the top, mine the ceiling. Golly Moses. Okay. So here, you want to just walk, you step up, step down straight away. Because if the ceiling doesn't get you, the blade will. That blade is right in the middle of this block where you want to be. So from here, when the blade has passed, just do a run and jump. If you do that straight away without stepping up onto the block, the ceiling will hit you. Now come to here, don't go <laughs> beyond there because of that bit of ceiling. But now just hop over that. And now we've got the nice calming music of calm. Run straight forward, you'll get a load screen. There we go, and your health goes straight back up. Looks like they didn't manage to get the same. So what do you think killed them? Must have been the natives protecting the catacombs. Huh. These are Kane's men. <laughs> that guy has to learn that you don't need any support. I don't think they were here for support. I have a feeling they were here to collect the skull and leave me behind, if you know what I mean. Well, he definitely can't be trusted. <sighs> I know. Oh, look. There's an address here for Kane's apartment, located in Venice. 
And since he's in Mexico, it's probably empty too. Perfect. It's about time I visited him anyway. See what he's up to. Distant relationships are always impractical. Alright, so we got a hint there at possibly a Crystal Skulls 3 which I am actually very excited about because these first two have been awesome. So now Lara's picked up a key card and she's got that in her inventory and over this side we've got some arrows. So this bit's very simple we're just solving a quick puzzle to get out of here. So we need to go through this gate but this gate happens to be closed. So we have to just try and go up here. It can be difficult to get through that space because she will just slide down. Come on Lara, you can manage that. You raid tombs for a living. There we go. So you just want to follow this passage all the way to the end. So it's kind of annoying when you have to wade through loads of water. Awesome, and we've got this pole, which is a climbable pole, not a chain pole. So when you can, just flip up and you've got this lever. And now the gate is open. Super duper. Hop straight down and before we return to that we've just got these arrows in this little space. Now let's go through that gate. So yeah the water is a bit tedious. Like please why did you do this? straight on in and here we have a boat I'm on a boat so jump is back forward is action so hop down there and we've got a gosh we've got a closed gate here so we need to hop open the gate hop out and open the gate so jump out by holding the walk and pressing right she does not want to get out there come on there you go so you've got this ladder here you just need to run and jump to that shimmy to the gap on the right here And just straight across, super duper. And this one's pretty simple, here it is. Hop down and you've probably spawned some bats, I don't think I... Oh, I do need to equip my pistols, I just assumed there was a load screen. Those pistols, so you don't need to worry about your health at all at this point. Or until the end of the game, because we are practically at the end. Now we've opened that gate, hop back in your boat. And we've got a long drop here. You don't want to gun it, just very gently go forward. Because for some reason I gunned it down here the very first time I played and she exploded and died. So that was a massive inconvenience. So now open this gate, hop out your boat. And you want to climb up that ladder there. It's slightly easier than the other because you just need to do a standing jump, not a sideways jump. Please, please don't do that. Okay. 
So you want Laura's hands to be parallel with the top of this bar, like this. So you're not going to shimmy across that bar, that's not the reason for it, but we're in a, a pretty much lined up spot to flip back and turn and grab this. Now straight into this gap, might need to crawl through this space. Follow this to the end as well, we've got another bat. In here, there is eerie music, along with a velociraptor. Oh, try to take a bite out of Love's delicious face. <laughs> also, in the grass, there are some shotgun shells. I've also had it before where he's got stuck in the corner right over here by the waterfall, and no matter how much I shoot at him, he just won't die. But that's fine because he's just stuck anyway, he's not bothering anyone in the corner. So just pull out this guy. <coughs> and he has a gate key. Might not be a gate key, let's just confirm the... Yep, it is a gate key. Gate key confirmed. <coughs> So now we can go and use the gate key, the confirmed gate key. So just make your way back. Oh my goodness, Lara, please. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm in the boat. That was fantastic. Didn't mean to do it, I'm gonna have to actually climb back up. <laughs> So, do the ladder again. Okay, and back over here. And this is where I tried to jump to. You want to be here, so that you can jump to that gap over there. So we've got some arrows. And here is the keyhole. Jeeper jeeper, the gate is open. I meant to grab that ledge. So from here you can take your boat with you or you can leave it behind if you want. It doesn't matter, the boat is faster and it's more badass. So, taking the boat. There we go, game over. Completed. Time taken, 2 hours 3. No head med packs used and 6 out of 6 secrets. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy guys.